Hello. How are you? Well, today I'm going to talk about uh, from theory to practice, designing and implementing a connected learning experience. I, I, I guess you already know about uh, the connected learning framework. So we seek to integrate three spheres of learning that are usually separated. Interests, academic content, and peer culture. When the students are able to link their practices and identities across these spheres, meaningful learning happens. Connected learning has the potential to transform educational systems and also to provide uh, enrichment opportunities to more youth, especially for, for, for youth from marginalized communities. Today I'm going to talk about a connected learning pilot experience. I had the opportunity to help design and implement at Texas City High School, a low income, low performing, majority minority uh, school in Central Texas. Our intervention was a digital design summer camp uh, we created in collaboration with a high school teacher and a group of 16 students. We purposefully integrated um, the new media tools for connecting the school, community, and home. Our major goal was to create an interactive book about how the pervasiveness of sugar, sugary foods and beverages is creating an unhealthy environment. This team allowed us to tell a research-driven, community-engaging, and interactive story about a social problem that affected the lives of young people and their families. So we implemented four principles for designing this learning environment and experience. Participation, hands-on learning, constant challenge, and interconnectedness. How do these principles look in practice? Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> We redesigned the space of a classroom in order to make it more participatory. A computer lab became our design studio, an environment of shared culture and practice where everyone could contribute. Participants came to the project with a variety of interests uh, and identities. Working in teams, they found out ways to translate their, pay, their passions into creative designs and productions, such as hip hop songs and music videos. We also encourage our designers to explore the real world to validate what they were learning. So they investigated their homes and identified added sugars in the foods and beverages that their families consume. They also researched the environment at their own high school, finding out several sources of unhealthy foods and keeping track of the school cafeteria lunches. Furthermore, through a series of field trips, students were able to map their neighborhoods and pinpoint several food swamps that exist in their communities. So we constantly were challenging the students. We created many challenges that helped to connect what students were learning through their readings with the real world explorations and their interest in digital media production. The challenges were especially um, interesting for them because they could create animations, infographics. Uh, for instance, they created infographics and animations about uh, how sugary foods affect the human body and how the industrial process of making high, fru high fructose corn syrup works. Sometimes the challenges were, were <laughs> very engaging just because it connected very well with their own passions. For instance, we created a challenge about internet memes where they use the research that they have done with their interest in visual memes. And they use their own photographs, their online tools, classic meme, meme imagery, and it was hilarious. They love that. Um, we also finally implemented the principles of interconnectedness in two ways. On the one hand, we, we had a group of mentors and experts that helped to bridge uh, different domains and contexts. And we also, on the other hand, had, had an open network infrastructure that allowed us to encourage these young designers to share their work online and through uh, Tumblr websites connect with other groups and publics. So the principles of connected learning are powerful. Participation, hands-on learning, constant challenge, and interconnectedness, they work very well in practice and foster meaningful and engaging experiences. I invite you to experiment 
uh, with the creation and design of connected learning experiences so we can learn more about their potential and also open opportunities for more youth. Thank you.